This is like a big classroom up here for me. Uh, it is something that allows me to, to explore uh, the, uh, a great love that I have of history, and it also allows me to uh, put in place a lot of the research skills and the like that I learned uh, when I was uh, at, in that college and, and learning uh, the skills of what a historian does. Hello, my name is Delane Donaldson. I am the president of the Effingham County Museum, the, the association that uh, is, is responsible for the restoration and establishment of this building as a museum site. The towns don't have what I call their signature, or what makes it special or different. What was the history behind it? Who came before us? And I, and I thought that Effingham is definitely special it's very special to me and to many people here and it has a rich history and but then the architectural gems are not very frequently encountered. Small towns uh, have a wonderful history uh, that uh, kind of wells the people to the main movements of American life. One of the things that we found when we came into the building was the fact that this room had been really changed through the years. Uh, we had a sense when we came in here that what was a very dark room and kind of foreboding uh, had been a place that was once filled with light. I'm Alan Westendorf, and we've been working on this room, I think, a little over two years. I'm Steve Miller, and I started working up here in I believe it was around September of 2012. I'm Jerry Katz, and I've been working here since the day we got the keys. <laughs> well, first we had to um, have the room inspected for asbestos, and there was a little bit here, mainly in the floor covering. Had that removed, and then we decided to start restoring this room uh, after we could see where the layout of the floor had been previously. Yeah. It amazes me that they built something like this with no modern equipment like we use today, you know, like cranes and lifts. And it'd be interesting to go back that time and see how they did that. Basically, it's, it's hard to believe that there was three offices, four offices in this room, two restrooms, and there was also a, a hallway right when you walked in the door. The suspended ceiling, so it, it's, it really looked drastically different than it does now. Yeah, and they, everything that they built up here, they, like the offices, was, was the outside walls were just mahogany and well brown, um, uh, whatever paneling, and uh, that's what made it so dark. In the 70s, the dark paneling was the that was the thing. I mean, everybody wanted dark panel. I guess that's and uh, formica. A lot of formica, also in the, in the jury area and the judges area, it was all formica. Where we're sitting, there was a doorway and the the hall went straight east. There was a restroom there, and and there was three rooms, like Steve said. And as we took the, the walls out and started opening it up. You couldn't believe how big this room seemed. One of the things that we also uh, were told by the University of Illinois that we needed to really notice is the dome that is in this room. It has been covered up since uh, the late 1960s. And uh, U of I said that uh, could add a lot to this room. And so when we began to look at that dome, some people suggested that we leave it as a white plaster dome, which is what it was originally. But others said, wait a minute, what would happen if in fact we painted scenes from the county or that deal with history of the late 19th century in that dome area. Hi, I'm Ruben Boyajian. I've been a resident in Effingham for over 35 years now. And I am a physician, a general surgeon, and a cancer surgeon as well, practicing in Effingham all this time. The design is gonna it's going to be kind of all-inclusive. It's going to be based on some of the icon symbols of it, each township in a circle. I chose to develop from the historical perspective, as you can see, as you look west into the mountains and some of the um, uh, 
heading west chapter of our history and then how different settlers decided to settle along the way. It's three-dimensional and you have to reconfigure and you have a diminishing you know, space as you go up towards the dome. Of course, the salvation here is that the sky is the dominant feature, so that makes it easier. <laughs> but you have to think in terms of some triangular projections, you know, so... But. I like to see the reaction of saying, you have that much going on in this county? I mean, I didn't know there was so much history here, or, you know, what... What a nice progress you made as a little town, you know, mid-America. Um, so it's something to be proud of. But we'll tell people, hey, there was a time when we were welded together as a people and, and there was a sense of community that uh, throughout America today, I think, is very solely black people. The group of volunteers headed by Delane Donaldson and it's been just an amazing group of people. And they are, they've been very tenacious, you know, very focused, goal-oriented, very patient. Their technical capabilities have been stunning. The way they transformed this room, this is based on volunteer work. You know, this is over a million dollar work they've done gratis. You know, it's, it's been just amazing how they pulled the resource value by itself has been so inspiring and motivating that it makes me feel I'm falling short of the expectation, to be honest. All the people that helped here, we've never had a carpenter. <laughs>